Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 11th of June comes to you from London. And the market's uh, taking uh, the G7 talks pr uh, sort of break down pretty much in their stride. Uh, dollar is uh, fairly flat the last few days, uh, still in the bearish trend, but looks like it's going to move out of this trend. Um, and the medium term trend, of course, is still bullish. Looking at the euro, um, the, the much the reverse is true, of course. So um, euro against the dollar. We are just seeing it falling away here, um, although we're still in the bull trend and the medium term trend is, is still bearish. We may be finding some long term support around these levels. Uh, looking at the yen, uh, dollar is already starting to break through the cloud here. And uh, so that's really is dollar yen is probably my lead indicator on what's happening uh, with the dollar and uh, sterling. Uh, holding on to uh, its short-term bull trend, but again, the medium-term trend is bearish. Taking a look at uh, sterling against the euro, slightly weaker here for sterling, and against the Swiss franc, uh, just slightly stronger, but again, medium-term, we are slowly breaking down. Uh, taking a look at the Australian dollar, we've seen an improvement over the last week as well there, but again, we've made that medium-term tra transition to bearish. Um, Bitcoin uh, fallen fairly heavily yesterday on news of a, uh, a cryptocurrency exchange hack. So we are just seeing um, Bitcoin really is in this bearish mode, just teetering along the bottom. This is look, looking more and more like a descending triangle here just over the last few months. And so uh, we're seeing big moves down. We've got 6,600. Uh, we've got quite a lot of bearish targets now. So 5.2, 5.6. 515262 so we're seeing downside targets as much as uh, 8 15 22 24% a lot of targets into that area so it's starting to look pretty bearish for bitcoin looking at uh, the US stock market on friday uh, we <coughs> did close uh, higher the S&P is still struggling of course to break to new highs um, the Nasdaq did look better on Friday and we're actually seeing here it did push to uh, new highs there in the week so uh, looking pretty strong there US tech leading the way uh, led us into the mess hopefully it's leading us out the Dow also just turning bullish last week um, so looking a little bit better but still taking its time to recover we're not out of the woods yet until we make a convincing new high. And uh, the broader base, Russell, looking pretty strong as well. Uh, the futures this morning, the uh, uh, S&P future up uh, 0.1 of a percent. Uh, the Nasdaq Kihi Mini up much the same. Not enough of a change to really call which way the US will open. Uh, FTSE is up this morning half a percent. And the 250 up uh, just over half percent, looking stronger there as well, starting to make new highs. Uh, the DAX uh, lagging a little bit this morning, up um, up half percent as well, but uh, just really still um, only just breaking into bullish territory. The German market not looking as, as good as the UK market. And the CAC Courant, which was looking really good uh, some weeks ago, is still struggling as well. <coughs> Looking at uh, the Japanese market, uh, we are emerging out of the clouds here. It was up a third of a percent. Uh, so that's pretty interesting given the geopolitics. And the Hang Seng up half a percent. The market that I've been most worried about, China, was actually down half a percent. And we are testing new lows here. It really is starting to look quite worrying. And we are just heading to bearish below the cloud on that long term chart. So that is a bit of a concern there. And we've got some pretty big downside targets. So China is the market that's worrying me the most at the moment. Uh, looking at uh, the Indian market, uh, looking strong here as well. Uh, Australian market was also uh, uh, slightly down, so it just didn't uh, produce uh, uh, the gains the other markets did. Brent crude uh, is down half a percent this morning at $76, still in its um, bullish trend on all three time frames, and WTI also uh, just holding its bull trend as well. Taking a look at US Nat Gas, sitting at $2.94. We're really struggling to break this $3 mark, but we are starting to wander out of the cloud here on the medium term chart. So we may be seeing some resurgence, but it's been flat for a very, very long time. Taking a look at gold, uh, uh, gold is actually still sitting at this uh, $12.96 level this morning. Just really for the last week has really been stuck in this um, 
five dollar range which is really tight uh, and medium term as well we're still waiting for this june rally that we saw last year to kick in um it came in around the end of the month last year so maybe in a few weeks time we'll start to see that uh and silver <coughs> also looking bullish on the short term chart and just starting to um creep to a better territory on that medium term Looking at U.S. Treasury yield, sitting at 2.96%, still in bull trend there as well. Uh, taking a look at some of the U.S. tech majors, Apple uh, has been looking pretty strong. Uh, it was down on Friday, so just uh, struggling to maintain those, those highs. And Amazon has really been the star as well of late, uh, and it was down slightly on Friday as well. Taking a look at uh, uh, Google, we see here... Uh, slight changes to the downside there as well and facebook just struggling to hold those 190s uh as well it was up half a percent on friday but just not able to get back above that 190 level and last of all microsoft uh looking pretty bullish uh, uh still holding that 100 dollar mark uh and bullish on all three time frames that's it for today until tomorrow happy charting see you then